Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some breaking news involving singer and actor Tyrese Gibson. If you've been keeping up with the drama, you'll know things haven't been easy for him lately, especially when it comes to his legal battle with his ex-wife, Samantha Lee. Well, as of today, Tyrese is officially in custody for failing to pay child support. Let's get into all the details. So here's the situation. Tyrese was in a Fulton County courtroom facing Judge Kevin Farmer, and it didn't go well. The judge ordered Tyrese to pay $10,000 a month in child support, starting back in April 2023, for his five-year-old daughter, Soraya. But Tyrese has been refusing to pay the full amount. He's only been paying around $2,200 a month. As you can imagine, Judge Farmer wasn't too happy about that. He found Tyrese in contempt of court, had him handcuffed, and marched him out of the courtroom. I'm going to go ahead and get my outfit together. I think I'm going to go eat me some red lobster. I ain't never been arrested. Never went to jail in my life. Never. Why? Because I don't do anything illegal. I want to send this message out to all of the fathers. This is not man versus woman. Make sure I say that. Take all that shit off the table. What I love right now is that from all of the interviews that I've been doing, all of the women who are probably always going to see things through the lens of a woman, feminist, women's group, you know, it's like, I don't care if the woman is wrong. I don't care what she doing, what she asking for, what she trying to get in alimony, trying to crack the prenup, trying to get this for child support. I don't give a fuck how wrong she is. Most women are always going to see things through the lens of women. So I feel like we're in a real place right now where I could not be more proud of the women that have been vocal and outspoken about all of this goofy shit that my ex is doing and still doing. As a matter of fact, both of my ex. I know y'all are quick to say playing victim, gaslighting, manipulation, narcissist. They gonna put all kind of shit on you to make sure that whatever they decide to believe about you is what they want to believe because what? I was born a man. I got it. No one's after me. There's no Crips and Bloods after me. There's nobody in corporate America after me. There's nobody at none of these movie studios after me. There's none of these record labels after me. I got baby mama drama. You get in a relationship with an entertainer who happens to be a public figure or somebody who's a real estate tycoon or somebody in the tech space or somebody who has an actual profitable business. Now, this is what's crazy. Since I've been so public about all the shit that I've been dealing with, you would not, I have lost count of how many women who have walked up to me who are the high net worth individuals, the ones with all the money and the success, talking about how their ex-husband is getting alimony and how the husband is getting child support payments and the husband is getting all that he's doing, freeloading. The husband got the house. Doesn't really happen that often. But <laughs> when you were born a man, you go into a courtroom and you understand clearly that there is a preset menu that says you were born a man, fuck you. That's what the preset menu says. Now, y'all, I've been laughing, smiling, having fun, doing my interviews, my vibrations, and my energy has been up. And I've been over here silently and quietly in a certain capacity fighting these attacks. Why does Samantha's lawyers just request all of my bank statements? Why are they sending screenshots of my IMDB page, which stands for Internet Movie Database? They're looking up all the movies that I just did and asking for money and money and what's in this account and how much money did you make for Voltron Travel and how many albums have you sold and this and that. Like, leave me the fuck alone, man. I did a prenuptial agreement for a reason. The prenuptial agreement spells out everything that she get and was supposed to get. Why are we now four years and three law firms into this woman still coming after me? And why have they, the lawyers representing her, knowing that she's with a celebrity, a public figure, a high net worth individual, why have they confirmed on record that they've only got $5,000 from her and they've been representing her for four years? 
Why is this so? I'll tell you why. Because lawyers, not all, but certain lawyers out here will look at a celebrity and a high net worth individual as a pot of gold. And they will milk the shit out of you. And she's sitting over there letting them do it. Do you know how many people have went through a divorce and never went to court? You know how many people got issues with their baby mama, baby daddy, and never went to court? And they're just being amicable and respectful. You cheated. You lied. You hurt me. You this, you that. You moved on. You got remarried again. You this, you that. But I'm not about to take you to court. I'm not doing I'm not doing that to the father of my child. I'm not this and I'm not that. But the moment that you put a little celebrity sizzle on that thing, the moment that that net worth is a little different, all kind of intentions come out. Now, let me make sure I say this because it's like, Take care of them kids, motherfucker. I've never not taken care of my kids. Let me say it again. I've never not taken care of my kids. As a matter of fact, as much as I travel, as much as I got going on, as much as I'm moving, I'm going to tell you all the biggest blessing ever. Thank you, Jesus. My 17-year-old Shayla has never called me Tyrese. My five-year-old has never called me Tyrese. You know who I am in this house? Dad. And when they refer to me when they not with me, they say, that's my father. I am dad. Yeah, you heard that right. Tyrese is now sitting in custody because of it, but he could still avoid jail time if he coughs up $73,000. This covers unpaid child support and his ex-wife's legal fees. Now, Tyrese didn't take this line down. Just yesterday, he was on Instagram, calling Samantha's actions goofy and blaming everything on baby mama drama. He claims there's a prenup from their 2020 divorce that should have taken care of all of this. But here's the kicker. Tyrese says the lawyers never even checked his bank statements to see that he's been paying some child support. He's saying they just looked him up on IMDb and assumed he's loaded because of his Hollywood roles. Tyrese definitely feels like he's being treated like a cash cow. He's been pretty vocal about his frustrations. And let's not forget, this isn't the first time he and Judge Farmer have had it out in court. They had a big confrontation just last year. Right now, Tyrese's team is scrambling to make arrangements to pay off the $73,000. So it looks like he won't be in custody for too long. But this whole situation raises questions about how celebrity child support cases are handled and whether Tyrese is truly struggling financially or just refusing to cooperate. We know he's made some payments, but they fall short of what the court has ordered. So what do you all think? Is Tyrese being unfairly targeted, or does he need to step up and follow the court's orders? Either way, it's clear that this is far from over. We'll be keeping a close eye on how this all plays out in the coming days. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update on the red carpet re-up. Until next time, stay tuned for more celebrity news and drama.